Right in here is my wedding dress. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. If you watched my last video, you would know that I am now engaged and I am getting married in less than a year. I recently went wedding dress shopping, which I have to say has been my favorite part of this whole wedding planning thing just because it felt so real. Up until now, I've just been like signing contracts and we've just been putting money towards things, but we haven't really like seen anything tangible and to actually like wear a wedding dress just made it feel super real. Today is wedding dress shopping day and I'm actually on my way to be Holden, which is owned by Anthropology. It's like a sub brand I guess for anthropology and they have like a ton of bridal dresses and even like bridesmaids and stuff and just wedding it's it's all wedding that that's what it is so I have an appointment today and this will be my first ever bridal dress shopping experience also kind of nervous because I have no idea what to expect obviously but I'm excited let's go try some dresses on So when we got there, the stylist, she was super nice. She asked me a bunch of questions about what I wanted. I tried on six dresses and I will be showing you five because I did end up choosing one. Gown number one, the Bennett gown. I really loved because of the button detailing all down the back. This was the cheapest gown I actually tried on. It was just under a thousand. It was a little bit see-through. I didn't go for this one. I wasn't really into the whole fit and flare. I knew that ahead of time, but I still wanted to give it a try just in case. This just kind of solidified the fact that I did not want a fit and flare gown, but I'm happy I tried it anyway. Gown number two, this was the Elena gown, and this one had a very airy, light feeling, which I really loved. The detailing was really beautiful. I just didn't like how the top fit me. The straps were really wide, and I felt like it wasn't really doing much for me. Gown number three, this is the Almond gown by Amsale. And this gown I thought was gonna be the one. When I looked online, I knew this was the gown for me. It's actually convertible, so you can take off the little sleeves and it becomes a strapless gown, which is how I had envisioned myself wearing it. But when I tried it on, I realized that the top had these like pointy peaks, which I actually really liked the shape. It felt very modern, but they would dig into my skin, which was not a very flattering look. Maybe it's because I had high expectations because I thought this one was the one but it did not it didn't really do it for me so this was a no gown number four this one is very similar to gown number two this is the vie gown from waters it had that top detailing and then the tool at the bottom but again same issue was that the straps just felt so wide it just wasn't for me last dress another jenny U design this one is the tori gown this dress was a very top contender. I spent the most time in this dress, like walking around. The stylist even started putting accessories on me so I can see what it would look like if I added something around my waist or something in my hair. I think I might have chosen this one, maybe. The only thing I didn't like about this gown was the material. It had this English netting material, which I just didn't feel like it was it wasn't the material for me. I did end up finding a dress. It's obviously the holidays and we all know that the mail system and shipping is just kind of crazy right now. Somehow my dress came in like two days later. Can we just appreciate this packaging though? So cute. I am freaking out. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, I really want to wear it like right now. Make sure it's the right one. <laughs> so next up I need to find shoes and get my dress altered which should be fun. Hopefully those two things go pretty quickly. Well that is a wrap on dress hunting. I'm so excited. I can't wait to actually wear my dress uh, very soon.